Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as the Vandals in the Extended Timeline mod. Uh, where we left off last time, we were beating up on Byzantine and hoping to get a little bit more war score. Um, really, the only thing I can hope to do is get a couple more sieges finished off here. Um, let's go ahead and move this guy down here. And actually, maybe we can go ahead and stick him on this little island just in case. I think they might have people docked over here. Uh, no, they're going to beat us to it. Can we get, can we get here? Yes. Okay. Uh, more Arianism is spreading. There goes a great man, diplomatic great man. So I'm going to take the plus two guy, save a little bit of money. I'm a little bit ahead of time on things and that trade efficiency would be nice. He's not suffering attrition, so that's good. So the only thing I really can do here is wait for this uh, ticking war score, war, war goal. Attacker controls Kaffa plus 14.8% to actually go up. It can cap at 25%. That's about the only thing I can I can do is wait for that and grab a couple more sieges. So I may just piece this war out. All right, there's a siege, another siege, and some rebels. So don't want Constantinople, and it is a pretty big tax base, so I may just wait and see if I can piece out just before, yeah, just before they take this. Another rebel. Yep, fine with that as well. I am going to wait until this mercenary. Okay, spread of Christianity. Okay, that's gonna have to deal with this one. Let's take these from Krakow, go here and go here. Version successful, and I can convert more provinces, but the only ones I can convert are Aryan, and I'm pretty sure I'm just going to let this flip. I mean, there's no way I'm keeping up with this conversion. Um, I'm not going to be able to convert this one for probably, let's look at it, a little bit more than a year. So, I'm going to uh, go to my policies. I'm going to get rid of this policy here for at least a year, maybe a little bit more because that other one's going to need to be converted as well. And if I can wait for that, what are you doing here, Mr. Byzantine? Let's squish them. Um, if I wait for that, uh, wait a few years for that, then what I can do is just convert one and then the other pretty quickly and not have to switch back and forth that admin, save a little bit more admin points that way. Okay, I won that. I'm going back to Krakow. Let's look and see what buildings... Oh, another rebel, that's fine. Let's look and see what buildings I might be able to build. Uh, granaries? Still pretty set on that. I'll build one here. Actually, let's build a shrine here first. Let's look at this religion map here. Which province is my... right here. Do I already have a shrine? No. Which province is my other religious... Pro, uh, Christian province? Arian. Arian. Here we go. I already have a shrine built there. So we're set for that, and we are building a shrine there so it converts a little bit quick, more quickly when it's time to do that. Okay, so I can lose admin power or pay a lot of ducats. I'm going to lose a lot of ducats. Okay, there's another siege. Um, no longer sieging here, and they let this coastal area slip. That's quite nice of them.
Okay, losing a claim on a province. It's not too bad. Keep time ticking away here. And wait for a couple more sieges to pop. Let's look at our war score here. 19%. I can let that go up about 6 more percent. Okay, I'm going to have to take care of that one. Not going to have to worry about... Where did they come from? Alright, let's go up here. Going to have to go here and take care of that. There's another siege. I'm not going to be able to get him out until I win this war. Probably shouldn't have done that. Oh well. See where he ends up? These revolts are getting a little nuts. Yep, he's going to sneak all the way across. And... Okay, these revolts are getting insane. Why does this keep re uh, revolting so much? 7%, it's Aryan. Um, intolerance, non accepted culture, large empire, war exhaustion, legitimacy. Hmm, yeah, I'm gonna have to flip to Aryan pretty quickly, I think. Just kind of waiting on this one last siege to pop, and by the, that time, it should line up pretty quickly. Should line up pretty quickly with um, this war goal hitting 25%. Yep, it's at 21.6. Okay, it's at 14% chance here. Let's see. All right, now it's a 28% chance. So come on. Oh, here's some a free chance for some war goal. War score. Saxony has a disputed succession. Saxony is... Ooh. They are. Too bad I wouldn't be able to royal marry them. This rivalry attitude sucks. Man, I would be able to diplo, uh, claim their throne, but yeah, I'm not going to be able to get a royal marriage with them. So, All right, there's the siege, and there's 24 war goals. So the most I can get is like 1 more percent, which I pretty much have now. But there's not really much I want. Let's... Why is it at 106? What all am I taking? Hmm. Well, I could take a little less money. Just click down this money. There we go. Perfect. Looks good to me. I'm going to take two provinces and a bunch of cash. 2,600 ducats. There we go. Bam. All right, let's take all of these. Let's move them to Crimea. Let's get the boats. Move to the Gulf of Odessa. Move this unit back here. You belong in Krakow. And there's all of my movements I need to make at the end of the war. I lost my Casas Belli against them, of course. I will... Yeah, the war exhaustion's not too much to just pay for these. How much is this one? 61. That's quite cheap. I don't know if I should harsh treatment or not. I mean, 23 is pretty high. I think I'll just leave it alone for now. Look at all that revolt. That is not good. I'm going to have to do something to fix that. Send a diplomat to improve relations here. 
a little bit. I may be annexing them at some point. What kind of aggressive expansion do we have here? Another five or so years, they may start thinking about getting out of the coalition. Probably more like 10 years. I'm pretty sure I'm still on a Regency Council as well. Yes, for another like five years. All right, more Arianism. That's okay. Kind of what I want. I'd like it to actually spread pretty fast. Um, this needs to Ooh, send to Kiev. I'm now sending a lot of money up there. All right, the Great Migrations. For centuries, our people has our people has lived in the shadow of a mighty Roman Empire. Mm hmm. All right. Let's see. Uh, Rome will fall or lose prestige. So for nine years, I get plus 50% morale of armies, national manpower plus 50%. Land force limits modifier plus 50%. Land maintenance modifier minus 20%. I declare war on the Western Roman Empire, which I was going to do anyway. Maybe it calls a coalition. Maybe it doesn't. We'll just have to see. I'm fine with it either way. And I get a bunch of migration period axemen in Ostmarch. Yes, please. All right, so I'm at war. They did call the coalition. That's okay. Let's double check all of our stuff. Make sure I'm doing what I can. All right, I have a couple I can of Hellianic things I can do. Let's go ahead and pick back up. What am I doing? Let's go to missions and decisions, add a policy. Let's pick back up the religious policy and we can convert as soon as they're a core, so I picked them up way too easy, but here here we go. That ended, so we can convert that first. That's great. Uh, Byzantine is asking for military access. Why? I don't know. Sure, why not Byzantine? Sounds great. I got a bunch of infantry. Move you that way. Leave these over here for rebels. Uh, sure, let's just move you guys in like that. Move you in here. Going to go ahead and squish. Everything that has to do with the coalition. And then work on Rome. Move you here. I don't remember where I put everything. Krakow. Let's take you here. Let's take you here. Let's move you with the leader. Yeah, good enough. Move you here. Move you down here. Okay. Got a lot of people moving a lot of places. Let's move you here. Okay, so there should be a stable government. Agreed. So I lose admin power or lose prestige. I'm going to lose the prestige. I'm going to win a lot of battles here in a second. Maybe. Okay, there's one. There's two. They are moving in here. I am actually going to cut them off. Naval battles. It's interesting. The pirates aren't doing much. I'm going to actually move you over here. I'm going to slow this down a bit. There we go. I engaged here. No leader on my side. No, I did end up grabbing one with a leader. Let's see. Four shot. Four shot. So uh, my. allies here. Must have had a leader. Pretty good one. There we 
go. There's another win. I have only a 93% uh, blockade there. So I'm going to have to wait for one of these country... Uh, one of these to um, be taken before that happens. I'm going to move you to Hanover. Move these down like... Well, I can't move you. Can I move you? Yes. Hmm. Or Arianism. It's fine. Let's actually move you down here. Recall that diplomat. Move everybody right there. To squish that little army right there. Okay, 27 versus 17. That should be fine. There's a revolt down here. I'm glad I left these people down here. Let's move you here. Alright, it looks like I can just siege the heck out of all of these things. Let's move you... No. Move you here. Select you. Move you over here. Move you over here as well. And then when they get closer, I'm going to move one of these in. Okay, I won a bunch of stuff. More rebels. That's not good. We'll move this one here to squish them. And I'm going to check on my war exhaustion. It's pretty low, actually. So, should be fine. Move you here and you here. Stack to move here. Let's spread these guys out to avoid some attrition. Let's carpet siege the entire T of the coalition up here. All right, uh, sack of Sopron. All right. Our armies have once again been victorious. We have gained control of Sopron, and if we manage to keep it under our control for six months, we are able to directly annex it to our country. That's interesting. I gained five prestige, or five legitimacy, five prestige, uh, 20 ducats, and lose 0.25 war exhaustion. I wonder if that's because I'm in a regency council, because that's what it says. Regency. Oh, no, 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 no. It's saying the name of the leader, which happens to be regency council right now. That is interesting. I wonder why that is. No sort of timer here that I can see. That's fine. I'm pretty sure I will manage to hold that for six months. I'm going to go ahead and kind of carpet siege all this. Figure out where the hell the Roman army went. You go there. I'm kind of all spread out. That's okay. Lots of sieges. As long as I'm not too spread out. There they are. Actually move you right in there. Reinforce with them. Did take some woods penalty, so train minus one. It's okay, I'm kind of watching where these guys go. Hopefully wherever it is. 
We'll hold up to them for a little while. I'm going to start chasing. Is there a revolt somewhere? Maybe not. All right, let's move them back somewhere. I'm going to move you here to Krakow to be a little bit more centralized for revolts. Um, this one here. The only thing I don't have covered is Lundberg. Oh, I did catch up with him here. I am in the mountains, unfortunately, but I st should still win. Okay, uh, they're in an alliance, they're in a coalition, so it doesn't really matter to me. I should go ahead and move them over here, just in case this one loses. If they lose, then they're going to be stuck there. All right, a revolt. I do have troops headed. I do not have troops headed that way anymore. I changed my mind. All right, so sack of lens. Great. Something about holding it six months. It'll come under our direct control, or we'll be able to, and another sack. So I'm going to wait six months, and I don't know if I get a button to push or if it just comes up. Let's see, it's January. Let's just go ahead and wait until the summer and then we'll know for sure it's been six months and then we'll start to look oh look at that they defected we've managed to maintain control over Sopron for so long enough to make it part of our country gain five prestige that's quite interesting actually huh Okay, so another siege. It is a core. Wow. That's quite awesome. I didn't know that, but um, I'm going to be taking a lot of land now. I uh, only have three ships pirating over here. Don't know. Yeah, well, not that worried about that. We're just gonna keep sieging up and keep just taking all the land. Let's grab them, go there. Let's grab them and go there. Definitely going to siege up this area for sure. Take as much of this as I possibly can. Let's go and split you up. Let's split you and go here. I think that's about as light as I want to get you. I'm gonna take these ones down out here though and. Start sieging here. More stuff. More stuff. Arianism. More stuff. Warsburg. Oh my gosh, I'm going to take these too. I'm going to stay in this war forever. I'm going to take everything. I'm going to take all the things. Just everything. I mean, look at this. I'm losing war exhaustion every time I gain a siege. Gaining legitimacy and prestige. And money. What else is there? What else do I possibly need? I have no war exhaustion. <laughs> oh, this is great. Alright, let's move them down here. Alright, let's move you guys down here and just keep on sieging everything let's see if they're ready to build a new building no I'm actually converting them that's fine we're going to split you in half I'm gonna just go ahead and split you in half and keep half of you there and half of you there I'm gonna go ahead and split you in half any other big stacks yes you split in half you split in half All these I'm going to bring down individually as they... Okay, another thing. You... Go ahead and go here. I mean, I may as well just carpet siege at this point. Ah, uh, damn it. They're sieging there, which means that I can't siege there. Wonder if they got the same event. Let's move you down here. 
The seven stack here is going there. That's not good. I'm go ahead and send you all the way down here. They still have a 32 stack, uh, so I sh probably shouldn't be spreading so thin. Um, so a couple of these I'm going to keep whole. As soon as they win their siege, I'm going to move them down. Alright, another siege. Another siege, another siege, another siege. Yep. All right, here's a whole stack. I'm going to move you down here to go fish for that guy. Another defection. More manpower. More sieges won. More sieges won. How much of this land can I get to defect? All those are fine. Alright, more stuff. In a couple years, I'm going to have more territory than I possibly know what to do with. How could this possibly backfire? <laughs> I'm starting to wonder. There we go. Um, how about you stay here for a minute? Let's stay, let's move here. Okay, more Arianism, that's great. Where's my leaders? I need, to, I need one of them. Where are you? Up here, and that's just about done. This is done. Move you down here too. Great. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put a break in here as I get Verona to defect. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.